In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Now it's time to get into the bathroom sink. What I'm going to do is take a look underneath here. Cool thing to know about life in general is everything that's put together comes apart. So you just have to figure out where the screws are or um, the other devices holding it together. And the RV, it's mostly screws, which is great. So you need a Phillips head, flat head, or an Allen key usually, um, or a wrench. And so those are the tools that I'm gonna look to use as I disconnect the sink, the faucet, and um, start to pull that out from underneath the, the, um, the counter. And this, will probably be screwed in on the underside. So we'll get under there and take a look at that. In fact, here's a screw right there. So we're gonna have to crawl and be uncomfortable, but that's how it goes. First things first, I'm gonna disconnect the sink and the faucets, take them out and then that'll give me a hole that I can kind of work with. Now that I got this, these screws out, these are just locking the um, sink in from the bottom. There is good old butyl tape that's been sealed around the edge here. So I'm going to just kind of push it. I might have to cut with a razor to get that loose and then the whole sink should pop out. Flimsy sink. Here's the worst part about it is there's water in the P trap down here, and so it's uh, it's gnarly. It smelled really bad, and it splashed a little bit. Got on my face, which is nasty. I hope I don't develop a disease. Um, we can see now these hot water and cold water pipes are going to be an issue with putting the new sink in. The fittings here are different than what we're putting in. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a little interesting. Next thing I need to do is get this peeled off the wall here and then figure out what I need to unscrew to get the counter to come up. Underneath here. Once I do that, it'll be gone. So there are screws underneath here to get this countertop off. Get back on the floor. Here it is. Bathroom counter's out, sink's out, faucet's out. Time to do the kitchen counter. Same general idea. I'm gonna go up underneath. There's gonna be stuff I need to loosen up underneath here and underneath there. And then I'll have some screws, I'm sure, that are holding this down. Already pulled up the plastic along the side, um, so that's good. But then I'm going to have to pull out 
the oven. And that should just be a couple screws. So I'll probably take this thing out, which is just two screws, and then play around and find where the screws are that are holding it in place. Uh, once I do that, I'll be able to hopefully tap up on the counter and have it pop up. So the first thing I need to do is get into underneath here. That's the underside of the kitchen sink. There's a whole lot going on down there. The power distribution center is directly under the sink. I don't know why they did that because any kind of leak would then put water in the proximity of all the electrical stuff. That was a dumb idea, Shasta. I know you're already out of business. You're already bought up by somebody else, but that was a really dumb idea. I thought about relocating the distribution center and it's gonna take a lot of work. So what I'm gonna do is try to shield the power a bit and the sink that we're putting in only has one uh, drain. So hopefully everything is simplified and a whole lot easier and we keep the water away from the distribution center. There's also the hot water heater down there. Straight down here. And then we've got the heater vents that come out of our furnace. A whole bunch of wires. Here's the battery switch. I think I'm gonna relocate that. It's just in a really weird place. So all of this stuff back here is actually in a really weird place. Okay, and this is the power distribution right here. Everything coming in and going out that's power related is right here. This is water. Why water would be higher than that is a very stupid idea. But it is. So I gotta play around with this. Once we put in the new sink, we'll figure out we're going to be putting in a new counter, have to cut our own hole. So that's going to be fun. And I still need to start working on getting the sink out, or getting the, the oven out. So go ahead and do that next. This one then with our truck camper which is a whole lot easier to pull out um, I've got to figure out there's somehow there are screws coming from this side but there's a wall right here so I don't know how this is working out I'm giving up on the oven for the time being I'm gonna try to get this counter wiggled a little bit loose. Maybe all this will kind of come together. Because it looks like there may actually be a screw on the counter that's holding this in place. So.
I'm exhausted from success and failure today, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a day for myself and come back with a fresh mind when I can finish with this counter. I mean, it's definitely loose. It's just getting over here where it's super attached. And then up there, there's all kinds of screws that have to come out. Pretty good, pretty good day. Got this ready to go. Take the shower apart. Like anything, it starts with some screws up here and down at the bottom and then the side. And that will come right off. The glass at least. But I'm not gonna get into that yet. Calling it a day. We come back and finish the counters. I think maybe with the bathroom. Um, maybe we will do the shower while we're doing the, the sink, I don't know. That's, it's nerve wracking because it's more work and it's more destruction, but I think it might, I think it might happen. Anyway, for now, I'm pleased with the day. I'm going to call it a day. See you when you see you, when you see me, when you see me.